Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing Duck Soup. So Duck Soup came out in 1933 and is a comedy film starring the Marx Brothers. And in this film there is this fictional country called Fredonia and Groucho Marx's character Rufus T. Firefly is the head of this country. And this country is very bankrupt, it's not in a very good position financially and actually relies on on the charity of um, a woman called Gloria, who's played by Margaret Dumont. Now, in the neighbouring country of Sylvania, the ambassador of that country wants to take over Fredonia, hopefully by marrying Gloria. And we also get these two spies um, from Sylvania, who are played by Chico and Harpo Marx, and they basically follow Firefly around, trying to find out what he is up to. So as you can probably tell from what I've just said, this is a very silly, very wacky film. And if you know anything about the Marx Brothers, then you'll know that this is the kind of things that they do in their films. Very silly, very wacky and very satirical. Now, um, this was the first time I'd ever seen a Marx Brothers film. So I wasn't particularly familiar with them. But obviously we have in this film, we have the four Marx Brothers. So we have Zeppo, who plays the straight man. We have... Chico, who plays the Italian character, then we have Harpo, who is a mute, and probably most importantly, we have Groucho, who in this film certainly gets the most screen time, and is probably the main character. So we get loads of funny scenes in this film. I think it's a very fast-paced film. It seems to be one joke after another, which I certainly really like, and all the jokes, they all come at you really quickly. There's lots of witty one-liners spread throughout this film. Now, there's a few scenes which really stand out for me in this film. So, the first scene that really stands out for me is the scene with the lemonade stand. So, we have this man who's trying to sell lemonade at a stand. And then we have Chico and Harpo Marx's character. They suddenly surround him and they start making things difficult for him. Now, now these two characters are wearing hats and basically they keep stealing each other's hat and swapping it around and around again. And when you're watching it, you really have to pay attention because it's very clever the way it's done. So one person thinks they're wearing someone else's hat and then they're wearing their own hat and it's all very confusing but it's a very cleverly act and acted out scene and it just is is a fantastic piece of comedy acted out by these characters. Now the most famous scene in this film, the most iconic scene, is the mirror scene which which actually eventually involves three of the Marx Brothers. So first it involves um, Groucho Marx and then we also see... Um, Harpo Marx, who is dressed as Groucho Marx. It's a bit confusing to explain, but basically they were disguising themselves as Groucho Marx in order to steal some papers which are relevant to the war. But anyway, that's not important. Basically, we get this mirror scene where Harpo Marx's character is essentially copying Groucho Marx and trying to make, trying to make Groucho Marx think that he is actually looking in the mirror and seeing his reflection. So he's copying his actions in every single way, and it's just a very funny, very clever scene and very entertaining and very well thought out. It must have taken quite a while to get that scene right, and there's lots of funny little bits, and they actually end up swapping places and not realising what's going on, and then eventually Chico comes in in the end dressed as Groucho Marx, and that just makes everything even funnier. So yeah, there's lots of really funny scenes in this film. It's a really funny comedy. Um, this is the first time that I'd ever seen this film and the first time I'd ever seen a Marx Brothers film. And I was very impressed with it. The film itself is not very long. It's only 69 minutes long. So it's over very quickly. But to be honest, sometimes that's a good thing. It doesn't stretch out for too long. It doesn't feel like there's anything in here that doesn't need to be. And we also get a few musical numbers in this film. Um, apparently, in a lot of other Marx Brothers films, they do have lots of other bits that are in, like lots of big musical numbers and lots of love stories which aren't relevant to the plot. But in this film, it doesn't really do that. Pretty much everything is relevant to plot. And even the musical numbers, which are very entertaining in themselves, are also relevant to the plot. So we have the, have the national anthem of Fredonia right at the start of the film, which is very amusing because Rufus T. Flyfly doesn't turn up in time when he's always supposed to. We later get this song about all these characters going to war and um, Fredonia declaring war against Sylvania. And we get this very funny musical number where they're all acting out these funny gestures and they're dancing all over the place. But my favourite part of the film is probably um, 
Groucho Marx, I think is absolutely brilliant. He really is um, very good with comedic timing. Almost every line he every line he says is almost a joke and he's it's all about saying it in the correct way and responding to what the other character is saying because Rufus T. Firefight as a character he comes across as a bit silly really and it's almost amazing to think like how he became leader of this country but you have to remember this whole film it's a satirical take on authoritarian leadership and this is what the Marx Brothers were very good at doing they're very good at making fun of things which relate to real life and the fact this film was actually very controversial when it came out and lots of people didn't like it bear in mind this came out in 1933 which was um in the great depression and it was also around the time when adolf hitler was starting to um build up his power and it w um it wasn't actually until the 1960s when this film was recognized as a classic it certainly didn't didn't do very well critically or commercially when it first came out so it took quite a while for it to be regarded as a classic and is now actually thought of as one of the greatest comedy films of all time in fact the american film institute actually listed it as number five on the greatest comedy films of all time so yeah duck soup is a very funny film um there are a few bits which do date it a little bit obviously there's a few phrases that they say every every now and then but you have to bear in mind this film came out in 1933 so you're never going to find anything in the film from 1933, which obviously always matches up with today. So that's to be expected. So I'm going to give Duck Super rating of 9 out of 10. I think it's a fantastic comedy, well worth seeing. Um, it certainly won't appeal to everyone because comedy as a genre is very subjective. So not everybody is going to find the jokes in this film funny. But I'm sure that everyone will be able to laugh at something in this film because there are so many jokes spread throughout the film. There's so many little one-liners every that... Um, every now and then and there's certainly a few bits which will make you chuckle so so there we go so that is duck soup so what do you guys think have you seen duck soup would you like to see it please let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are anyway thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video take care